Are you ready to do a video? Miller, tiny. <laughs> All right, so as most of you know, this is Miller the Rottweiler. I'm Jordan, I'm the hands behind the camera. We decided we're gonna go ahead and start up a YouTube and what better way than to answer all of your guys' questions. We constantly get um, comments on Vine and messages through email asking so many different things about Miller and there's just so much that sometimes we can't really get back to all of you. There's really no better way to do this than have me read off your guys' questions, see if he'll bark at some. I can probably give you some translation. So our first question is, why did you name him Miller? He actually had his name picked out for him long before we even thought about getting him. Um, see, I grew up with a Rottweiler, and he was the best dog, most amazing dog that there was. Uh, my family just fell in love with Rottweilers ever <laughs> since we had Gus. So after Gus had passed, I always talked about getting another Rottweiler, and my dad always wanted to name him Miller. One, because he just liked the name, and two, because Miller Lite is his favorite beer. Miller was actually a Christmas present to my parents this past year, and um, he was a surprise, obviously. Me and my sister went and picked him up. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and move so you guys can see him playing. So we, when we brought him home, he was a surprise. We wanted to wait till both of our parents were home so we could surprise them together. And what we actually did is we went and got a little doggy collar and put it around a Miller Lite bottle um and left it on the front doorstep so we rang the doorbell and then we took miller and we ran and hid behind the garage baby hey, you playing you playing videos never go according to schedule it's always on his time by the well, way regardless that's why his name is miller okay next question why did you guys start making vines of him the whole vine thing really started with jaxi um, and just a disclaimer, Jaxi is my sister's dog. I have a twin sister. Uh, both accounts are run by different people. So, yeah. But anyway, I started vining videos of Jax because when I was home for the summer, I had nothing else to do. We made one video and it completely skyrocketed. Uh, it's Don't Talk Back. I got, like, thousands of followers on my personal account just because of Jax and I personally thought it was really weird I was like I don't want all these other people following my mom had this idea she's like why don't you just make a vine for the dog and you can post all of his videos there she's like no we're not gonna make a vine for a dog no one's gonna like it no one's gonna follow it well we thought wrong when we got Miller we thought why don't we just do the same thing? started out just kind of like a sharing our pets deal because they're so adorable but it's really turned into more of a um, a showcase for our breeds. I mean, Jaxie's a pit bull and Miller's a Rottweiler, and those are two of the most discriminated against breeds. Making these videos on Vine just really helps people to understand the breed itself. It started out as a fun thing, and now, I mean, it's still fun, but now it's more of a thing where we just want to show people, not really show people, but prove them wrong about our breeds. So our next question is, what weird things does Miller do? Um, he does a lot of really weird things. I really had to kind of sit and think about this one for a little bit because a lot of dogs do similar things, but they always have little quirks that make them different. So the things that I could probably come up with is that when he gets really excited, um, most dogs, like, they'll run around in circles or they'll jump and, like, wiggle their butts and all that. But Miller <laughs> takes a different tactic. Whenever Miller gets excited, he cries. He will cry when someone gets home. He will cry when people are in the backyard. He'll cry when he wants attention. He'll cry when he's about to get food. He'll cry in the morning when he first sees you. Good morning, baby dog. Hi, baby. Hi, mom. He just loves to cry and it's not like a painful cry it's a really cute like here I am I'm so happy you're here cry so he does that a lot that's probably one of the biggest things that makes him stand out um another big question that we always get from you guys is if Miller is a German Rottweiler or an American Rottweiler. Miller is a purebred German Rottweiler uh, and to answer kind of two questions in one, we did get him from a breeder. You guys are really adamant about rescuing dogs, and that's great. We absolutely, totally, and completely condone Rescuing that. dogs is probably one of the best things a person can do, 
But when it came to Miller, we just love Rottweiler so much that we were really specific on what we had wanted. We did a lot of research to figure out where we wanted to get him from. So me and my sister, or it was mainly my sister, I can't really take credit for it, but she spent months researching different breeders. And we actually found a lady um, in southern Arizona that we really liked. And the thing that we like about her is try to have a litter at least once a year. Hi, huh, baby. Hi, you want to play? <laughs> what the... What they do is, um, okay, okay, wait up. What they do is they try to have a litter at least once a year, and they always, after they do, they give mom a break. They want her to recuperate. They want her to still be a healthy dog. Um, we were just really excited when we found this breeder because we absolutely loved the way that mom and dad looked. Mom had, um... Miller's really rustic coloring. I don't know if I can get him to turn his head for you guys. So he's really rustic. A lot of German Rottweilers are. Uh, our last Rottweiler was really blonde, so it's it's pretty cool to see the differences. Um, so he has coloring of mom, and he has head shape and body structure of dad. I always like send her pictures to see so she can see how he's growing up and all that good stuff. I think they've had one or two litters before Miller's litter, and they kept a puppy from the first litter. And the thing that we really liked was that mom weighed about 115 pounds, dad weighed about 120, and then they kept a puppy from their first litter, and that big boy's gotten up to 140. So we have some pretty big expectations for this little stud here. We'll see if he can come interact a little bit later. Oh, there's Athena. And Miller likes to chase her at the dog door. Let's see if I can get that. Bring her home! Bring her home, Mill! Miller, get Athena. I think that'll just go right into tricks that so, you know. another question that we got from you guys was, what are the tricks that Miller knows? What can he do? All that good stuff. Um, and it's really good because not only is Miller treat motivated, he's toy motivated. I'll try and show you guys some of the things that he does. Miller, sit. Good boy. Can you give me five? Good boy. How about as a pop? Yeah, Miller. Whisper. Whisper. Speak. Good boy. That's my good boy. There you go. Which one do you want? You want that one? Okay. You want this one? Okay. So those are the tricks that Miller knows. Another question that we have is, is Miller well trained? Yes and no. Okay. 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 Say that. Say that. No. So, well trained. Yes and no. He did go. <laughs> oh my God. He's sitting on me. This is what happens in our household. Miller did go to obedience training. Um, it was a basic puppy class where they learned simple commands, kind of the basics, sit, stay, heel, um, down, not to pull on a leash. We're really... Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so another question that a lot of people really wanted to know was what were some of Miller's favorite toys or what is his favorite toy? Truth is, his favorite toy changes depending on what day it is, what hour it is, and how he's feeling. Um, he has a huge toy basket with all of his toys. A few of his favorites are this pool Actually, toy. Jaxie got for his birthday and Miller got so attached to it that they had to leave it here. Another toy that he absolutely loves is his tire. So he loves this and it's really cute because he'll like take it and flip it up over his snout. And then he'll just walk around with it. So it's really adorable. Is his moose... His moose is one of his favorite things. It used to be my toy reindeer for Christmas. What he's currently playing with right now is his frisbee. He has it stuck underneath his bed. So I think the question that I had no problems coming up with an answer for um, was the question where someone asked, what is the craziest thing that Miller did when he was a puppy? And, well, I'll just show you guys. Do you want to tell everyone what you did? So, in that video, um, Miller decided it would be fun to tear up a sprinkler in the yard. He was attached to um, a leash that was hooked into the ground. We just didn't want him getting into anything. Well, that completely backfired against us. And they, him and Jax together created this huge mud hole. I know it doesn't look that big in the video, but trust me, it was huge. And they were completely, both of them completely covered in mud. You can definitely see it in Miller. 
And so while I had him hooked up to that leash, I decided to hose him off, like give him a bath outside. So I unhooked him and then switched it to Jaxi and washed Jaxi off. Well, as soon as I unhooked Jaxi, they hightailed it to the, the other side of the yard where the dirt patch is and just started romping around and rolling and kicking off all this dust. Well, they got muddy again. And it was like literally probably a, a, a close to an hour ordeal of trying to clean these dogs up. And I was so mad at both of them. But I mean, you can't be mad at Jackson Miller. Look at their faces. They're just too cute. All right, guys. So we've had an awesome time answering all your guys' questions. We really love reading all of them. Miller especially loves it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to add him or follow him on Vine and follow him on Instagram for all of his videos and pictures. That's what I call the prince face right there because he looks so handsome whenever he's giving himself scratches. Um... So be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. We're going to be adding a lot more never-before-seen videos here. Hey, that's not appropriate. Um, and, yeah, just be on the lookout. We'll probably post more updates on Vine whenever we're going to post a video. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.